This Forge tutorial is going to show you how to create a script that will cause the round to lose if all the players on the team that you're on die. Now say you want to make a firefight map. In that case, you want the game to end and it to say you lost when you get killed and your whole team dies. That's a little janky and weird because it's not so easy to do. You'd think you'd be able to just set an option and, and do that, but you can't. And so I'm going to show you a script you can do so that way it will always make you lose if all the players on the team died. Now I'll have a prefab linked in the description of this script node that you guys can take and just use if you want. But I'll show you how to do it by hand so you can get an idea of what's actually happening. One important thing to know is that you can't lose unless there is somebody on the other team. Either that be a bot or a player, it doesn't matter. AI do not count. So if you want AI waves on the enemy team and that's all you have, when you guys all die on say Eagle team, right? Cause we're gonna use Eagle as the default. It'll say victory every time. And that's pretty jarring and, and kind of, I don't like that. I want, I want that victory screen to, you know, feel earned. So if you're in Forge, you, you should be able to test it. I just have a death script on Mark where when you die, this is what you will always see. All right, now let's get into the script. As we'll see without this script brain, when we die, we'll just respawn, nothing will happen. Okay, so first we wanna spawn a script brain, all right? Go into the node graph. First thing we're going to do is we're going to spawn a bot because we need a bot on the enemy team. Now on whatever map you're doing, like on my burger tank map where I implemented this first, I put a black box, put it under the map and stuck Cobra team spawn point in there. So in case they do spawn, they, sh they shouldn't, but just in case they do. They're trapped, they can't go anywhere, and there's there's no nav mesh for them to move around. Because all they're doing is being a placeholder for the enemy team, so that way you can lose. We're gonna go to bots, add bot. I'm gonna go to logic, wait for n seconds. I should have a wait for one. You said the difficulty it doesn't matter. Okay, that's the base that we need to get a round to lose. Okay, so next we need to get the variable that checks if the players are all dead. So this we're gonna go get events players on player killed. This is going. This script is going to run every time someone dies. It's gonna check if everyone is dead. That way you can set as many lives as you want and the game will not end unless all your lives are gone. Okay, on player killed. And we're also going to want a Boolean variable. So let's go to variables, advanced. We're going to declare a Boolean. Uh, let's call it all, all players dead. And we're going to set its initial value to true. And we can put the scope at local. There we go. All right. So now that we have our Boolean, next we're going to set a Boolean variable. So on player killed is going to set this Boolean. Let's put in the identifier. Set it local. Okay. And then we're going to go to logic. Then we're going to get for each player. Next, we're going to want to get everybody on Team Eagle. Players. 
Get all players on team. For each player on player team one, this is where we're going to branch. So, next we want to go to logic. Let's grab two branches. Because we're going to get one that's execute per player. And then on completion. First, for this bottom one, we want to get whether or not we are all dead. So we'll go to players. No, it's not players. It's objects. It is dead. All right. So what we want to do is connect current player to the object. It is dead as the condition. We're just going to do another set. And if it's so if it's false, we connect it to set boolean and we're going to set this to false. All right, now for this top branch, what we want to do is now we want to go into our variables. We want to get our boolean. Let's get the boolean variable. Use our identifier. Our scope is local. And now that we're getting this variable, we want to branch it. And if it's true, so what we're going to want to do now is go into game mode nodes. And let's add adjust team points. So when they die, that's true. We're going to adjust points for, let's say, Cobra team. We'll make them win by just one. All they need is one point. And then we will do end round for the winning team. That team being Cobra attackers. And then make sure the end game is false. Okay. That's the... Alright, this is the core script that you need. So we can save test it saw what happened earlier oh look. he's about to kill me there we died that's the that's the basic on on how to get that done but let's say in firefight there are a few other things that you want as quality of life. Like you, you want everyone. Let's let's say just for an example, you have lives. All right, so we'll, we'll just we'll just set for this one life. So what we want to do is events players say on player spawned. What we want to do is get whether or not it's a bot. So let's say get is bot. And then we want a branch. Connect these. And if false, which means it's a player, we want to uh, we want to set the player's team. And connect it to the player. To Eagle. Just in case someone joins and they are on Cobra or when the game starts. Now what I like to do is go into logic. I just like to wait second for this because sometimes things don't work properly unless you wait then we're going to block their respawn say this is for a one life game mode and that person is the player just say you died Okay, 
Well, that's just setting player team to eagle and making sure the bot does not go there. So to finish the bot side, we want them on Cobra team. We want them to stay on Cobra so that way we can get that round lose trigger. Without them on that team, it won't work. So we're going to do the same thing. The player team. So if on player spawn, if that player is a bot, it's true. Grab that boy. And set their team to Cobra. There. So now if we spawn, our bot will come in. It'll also get stuck, which is nice. So it won't shoot you. It'll just be kind of sitting there. And then you can die and do the same thing. And he should always be on the enemy team now. Uh, one thing I like to do as well, just for backup, is set up a join in progress script along with this. So that way, if a player joins mid game and just make sure that the bot stays on the enemy team. We're going to just set up a join trigger. All we need to do is go to events players. On player joined. Go to logic. We're going to grab two branches. Oops. And then we want to go to bots because we want to check whether or not they're a bot because what we want to do is is if a player joins sometimes they'll be automatically set to cobra team so this will prevent those people from joining the enemy team and being stuck outside the map with the bot so when we got on player join two branches and a bot get his bot we're also going to grab players we're gonna get a block player responds uh, I have this set up just in case because sometimes people could join and they will get continuous respawns so when you got these what you want to do is you want to connect on player join to the first branch and move the join in progress to the condition and if they did join in progress, it would be true, move it to the second branch. And at this branch, we are going to check if the player is a bot. And then if that is false, then we're blocking the player respawn. We do not want people to join mid-game and be able to abuse it. There we go. That should be it for a simple one life firefight game mode let's go and do custom games and test it so we can see how it works because sometimes forge plays a little differently than custom games this is just to show you that it does properly work if you're going to use um, the, the script to run it in slayer Right, what you need to make sure you do is set the respawn delay to instant. This is only for doing the one life game mode or like adding a revive system. It's like, so, so I'm gonna join this Cobra now. I used this in a map where I had a script where if someone died, you could go to their body and revive them. So each, each player had one life on Eagle Team. That way, as soon as the game starts, they're switched teams. Slayer. See? Put me on Eagle. You can see my body in the background over there. No then you got that bot over there. Alright. And... We die, and you get defeat. 
And that's how you get it done. You can simplify the script a lot more. You, you could get rid of some of it if you're just going to use attrition and, and not have to block players' respawns. Probably simplify things more. But that, that script will work in with any game mode. So let's say you, you want to do like a search and destroy. You could do the similar type thing where whatever team, so let's say if you wanted Cobra team to, it, it depends on who is all dead. Like it's, it, you do like a 3v3 type Trials of Osiris type game mode or whichever team gets wiped first, the other team wins. You can use that the script for that as well. But primarily I know a lot of people are wondering about how to get it to end on a loss for firefight with AI now. I hope you found this useful and I plan to upload a few more videos on how to script certain things in game. Good luck on your maps and have a good one.